on the previous episode. Hey, fancy beauties and bowls. Welcome back to your girl's channel. It's Gina coming through with another video for you guys. Hopefully you will enjoy this one as you have been all the others. So today's task is to glamify or more glamify my dining room slash open floor plan in the kitchen area. So you guys know I did that haul uh, with Big Lots and with Pier 1. So I'm going to use those items, at least the majority of them will come and probably all of them are coming from Pier 1. So we're going to go ahead and get started and we're just going to go ahead and lay this carpet, this actually this area rug, we're going to lay this down first. This did come from Big Lots and it was $129.99, I believe, if my memory serves me correctly. So we're going to start there and we're just going to go ahead and cut the plastic off. Side note, I did go ahead and purchase another one of these rugs and I purchased it to go in my, my room. But I'm not going to put that down until I move. So, yeah, side note. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to go ahead and open everything up on this area rug, get it laid down. When I pulled it out, I actually thought it was not going to be big enough, but I was wrong. Happily, I was wrong. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how everything unfolds. And then we'll move to the next step which is another day, okay? This day is the day that I did the haul for you guys. So I'm actually going ahead and taking everything off this table so I can start over fresh and new. And I did use my circle placemats in conjunction with the square ones that I picked up from Pier one. So let's just go ahead and watch and see how we're gonna make this table come together, honey. So as you can see on this part right here, I was not using the, the circle gold placemats that I already had. On this second part, this is where it came into my head, like, girl, girl, what are you doing? Let's layer, okay? Let's layer, layer, layer. So that's what I did, and I like it. And you guys know I'm very precise on my placement, so might look a little like okay Gina come on let's move on but I'm very meticulous when it comes to placing things and how they look so please excuse me I hope it don't get on your nerves but I have to do it
So I'm looking to see if I'm going to keep this flower arrangement and I'm not. We're going to go ahead and use the one that we purchased from Pier 1. I wanted to use everything that I had, the old and the, the things from Pier 1, but I didn't think it would work. So we're just going to go ahead and use the items from Pier 1. Let me say this, okay? I'm so sorry that I was not in frame when I was putting things together. I'm, I'm so, so, so sorry because this is the part that I really want you guys to see. I wanted you to see how I was putting everything in, how I was arranging it because this was a little difficult for your girl because of the ones that kind of fall over to the side, the ones I'm putting in right now. Those are kind of tricky to work with. And you have to put those in a certain way. You got to fluff them up and out. So even though I did this video, I have literally almost every other day gone back in and rearranged everything. So when, when I show you the finished everything, you will see that it's going to be a lot different from the way I have it in here. Also, side note again, and this is a little tip for you guys. If you have a flower arrangement like this and the, the opening of your vase is a little wide, what I did is I took that tie that the arrangement came in and I just used that in, to keep everything close together. And I believe that's what made the difference in everything so just use that as a tip guys now this next clip is in slow motion the reason I put it in slow motion is I found that a lot of people don't know how to do the linen decor so I wanted to do it in slow motion just in case I have some fancy beauties and bows out there that's not quite sure how to place it you know when you're using multiple linen pieces and so that's why I chose to do slow motion for you guys so hopefully this will help you guys out there This, I'm showing a different option that I thought I was going to leave the, the plates and things in. So what I did is I just reversed the top two. So I put the bowl under the second plate right there. But as you can see, I did end up changing it on this option right here. And then I ended up going back to the way it was the first time because of the, the way the napkins are. So I figured out a way to put the napkins where it would work. Either way, okay, is basically what I'm trying to say. 
<laughs> Let me know which way you guys like it. If you like option one or if you like option two. So let me know that in the description bar below. struggling with this one right here and not really struggling but I was not paying attention to what I was doing so that's why it took me so long to get this one situated one the tag was showing on on the other side and then the tag was showing on the other linen piece the top one girl okay I finally got it together though so here you go right here now, I believe that this is everything that I kind of wanted to go over with you guys in this video. I'm going to show the slow mos of how everything turned out and things like that. So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video right here. If you did, can you please give me some thumbs up so that my videos can start making more views, getting more views. And so that we can grow here on YouTube. Also, comment down in the in the comment section below. Don't forget, let me know which way you like the arrangement. Do you like it with the plate on top of the bowl, or do you like it in the traditional way? And then let me know what colors you use in your dining room. I would love to know that. And until the next video, you guys, please be careful. Please be safe. Please stay prayed up because this world, you just don't know when you're going to get called to go home to God. So just be careful out there. Make the best of the time that we have together important with the ones that you're in daily contact with. Tell people that you love them be nice to people just you know stay in the way that God wants us to be because I know you guys already are because I know I draw great people to me because of God and so I just want us to make it to those pearly gates when it's our time to go 
do whatever you can to help mankind pass on your testimony to someone because you never know who that might touch and until next time i will see you soon stay fancy stay prayed up all of that great stuff and i'll see you soon okay fancy beauties and balls stay locked
Thank <laughs> you. 